Alrighty. Shoes, jacket, hair combed, bag. Morning, guys. It's time to go to school. Yay! No! <laughs> Yay! No! Yay! No! We're gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you guys too. And you. I love you. I love you. Okay, we gotta go. No! Man, there's a lot of cosmic juju going around this morning. Wow, okay. That was just the beep for my fuel level being low. So, okay, uh, where are we this morning? Phoenix has been dropped off. I've gotten tools for a car that I need to work on today, which I need to get my butt to and start working on. Um, I got a call from the insurance company for the sand and gravel company for the incident that happened last month, getting the truck sandblasted. And of course, you know, it, the inevitable has happened. Um, they're only willing to pay the uh, value of the vehicle, which makes sense because repairs do exceed the value of the vehicle, according to Kelly Blue Book. Oh, but it doesn't even take care of the loan amount for the truck. So, oh my goodness. And of course, that there's no repairs either. So, uh, I, I, uh, I digress. I don't know. I'm not too tickled this morning with their uh, lowball offer and I don't understand so I, I guess what would happen is is they would pay for the truck they I don't know do they then get the title that, that wouldn't make sense because why should they profit off of it I keep the title and then I'd have to go and get it uh, licensed as a uh, base uh, there's another word for it I should be able to think of it right now I can't closest word is refurbished vehicle but um basically it's it's like a total loss a uh i'll think of it after i shut the camera off it's what happens when you like get a car that's been wrecked and then you fix it a salvage title that's it a salvage so that's what this truck would then be listed under therefore when i do go to sell it it would bring even less money because it's a salvage title so Ugh. Cosmic Juju. Need to brush all this negativity off. Okay. But I'm warm. The truck is warm inside, so that's a good thing. I'm warm. I'm toasty. All right, middle of the afternoon, and you guys know that every time Phoenix leaves, it's very sad. But do you also remember the pumpkin that he got when we went to the pumpkin patch? Here it is right here. It's been in his bedroom. It's i uh, I'm not sure it's an actual ornamental. I mean, I guess it is an ornamental, but um, it's just a very small pumpkin. And he drew this on it. Make sure we get in focus there. There we go. He drew that on it. And then he came in here last night before he went to bed and he gave this to me. And he said, Daddy, look, it's me. And I'm like, oh, dude, that's so cool. That's really neat. And he said, I want you to have it. I want you to put it on your desk so that when I'm not here, you can see it and think of me. <laughs> Ah, it kills me. Such a big heart. So anyway, there we go. There's Phoenix on my desk. He also said that he can see me and he's watching me all the time. So that was kind of scary. But aside from that, <laughs> uh, one job is down today. I've got one more car to work on. Whew, making the day happen. Hopefully you guys had a good Monday. Update, the stranger and Manny are doing fine. I'm going to sit down and watch some TV. <gasps> I know, crazy, right? Um, and I'm also going to eat some dinner. So I've, I've got dinner like already fixed over here. It's out on the barbecue, stuff like that. Come out here and see the nice beginning of the sunset. We're not going to be able to see the rest of it because I'm going to go inside and relax and eat. And there's Buffy. See, Buffy's just... Buffy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're almost like a bear. Let me wrap my bear paws around you. Good girl. Okay, go. Okay, here we go. Food? Ooh. Food on the barbie. Yes, it is a short vlog today. Yes, I am tired. Yes, I've had a day. And um, yes, it's time for COC. But before we do a COC, I would like to thank... Um, these are the $5 or more level patrons. Or patrons and um, I would like to thank all of the patrons. 
Which include Growing Up Disney, Todd W., Nicole F., Jason W., Tony F., Lisa W., Ron P., Tony and Jules, Jolson, and Ben L. And sincerely, thank you all very, very, very much. Um, if you guys would like to get really cool perks and support the Patreon, um, you can go down to the link down below. And, uh, yeah, and uh, go that route and get really cool stuff. Um, I got to get the pictures for this month ready, too. Um, but aside from that, it is time for some <coughs> commenting on comments. Sorry, <clears throat> I had a frog in my throat. First comment of the night, Jason Flusher. I know what you mean about sports here in Cornwall. Everyone is nuts about rugby. I will watch it if I can, but otherwise, I just take it or leave it. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm first. Congratulations, by the way. Angie, nice work, Phoenix, and you too, Troy. Aw, thank you. Blushing. Halloween fur, first off, I love it when Phoenix puts his own little video clips in the vlog. Well, little known secret about that. He just films stuff, and then I put it in the vlog. We'll get to him editing one day. Um, I, I do need some time off eventually. <laughs> You're answering a question from a couple days ago. Your favorite part about Halloween this year, just like almost every year, is watching the reactions of the trick-or-treaters and the younger ones terrified to even come to the door and then happy when they do and get a toy and candy and the older ones' reactions and saying how awesome it is. By the way, Troy and Hellions, go check my Instagram page. It's Halloween fur to see my yard haunt for 2019. Excellent. Nicole Flynn, love the beginning of today's video. Hey, Phoenix, you are the best vlogger ever. I agree. He's doing such a good job. And he's only six. Oh, okay. He'll be seven in a month. Seven. Can you believe that? Do you guys remember when he was born? How many of you have followed us this long? Oh, my God. Seven. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Ralph and Jason. Uh, nice intro, Phoenix. I used to watch NASCAR, too. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about. Cough. Bush Brothers. <coughs> Cough. Um, yes, him, or them, and also, uh, <coughs> Tony Stewart. <coughs> mm -mm, sorry. Man, I got a lot of things going on in my throat tonight. I'm on Gypsy Heart. You say that you should use a portion where he says happy haunting and rar as an outro. And Joseph Blau, hello, Hellions. Fran Royer received your card today. Thank you so much. And yes, I will share it with Dennis. Emerald Gypsy Heart again. While we were walking into Walmart today, they were touting free delivery. I told her I already have free delivery. My home is just outside. She looked confused. So I said, we live in our motorhome. She still looked confused. <laughs> Ricky R, awesome vlog. The cleanup and teardown begins. Time to get her done, then Christmas decorations into the graveyard to look like Nightmare Before Christmas. Mwaha, stay wicked. I would love to do a Nightmare Before Christmas scene in the front yard. That way we can keep it up through October, November, and December. Three months. I, I, I want to do the big fountain. I really want to do that fountain. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. Oh, we could do like a... Uh, the, uh, the roulette wheel for uh, Oogie Boogie, and and oh my gosh, the possibilities are nearly endless. CNN Services, great vlog today. I love the intro, Phoenix. Look out, Troy. He's on the way to the top. He's on the way up. Mr. Broat, Phoenix whispered happy haunting. I smiled and then, Arr! LOL, I actually jumped. And speaking on making pies and stuff, I remember Troy saying that you like, uh, or there's something about, or something about liking stolen. I do. I think you bought it at uh, Aldi. I, I, I can't remember where I bought it. Uh, my wife makes, there's a German store here in town. Uh, my wife makes an awesome homemade stolen. I was making sure that I'm recording because it would suck to go through all this and then have to redo it. Uh, I will see if I can send some around Christmas to you guys. It tastes nothing like the store bought. Lots better. Mmm. Does it have a uh, mozzi pan in it? Mmm. Ah, yummy. And final comment of the night Judy Hart used to watch NASCAR. Then number three died. Just too sad after that. Yeah, that was pretty tough. All right. That's it, guys. Happy hunting. Thank you so much for watching. I want to go to bed. It is 9.31. So this whole daylight savings time and stuff. Well, actually, it's standard time right now, isn't it? It's not savings time because it, savings time just ended. Anyway, it's it was dark at like 5 something. It was oh dark 30 at 5 something 30. Oh, I don't like that. It seems like the days are, like, not as long as they used to be. I mean, they are just as long as they used to be. It's just the daylight hours of daytime. Daytime! Nighttime are not as long as they used to be. Okay, that makes more sense. Happy haunting, guys. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.